the show 13 minutes after the hour. We got your front page. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. And happy Friday. I'm Eva Marcel, and here's what's making news this morning. So another 3.8 million people have applied for unemployment. That brings the total job losses over the last six weeks to 30.3 million. Also, new data shows that 71% of prison inmates in federal prison have tested positive for the coronavirus. Meanwhile, for the first time in over 100 years, New York subways are shutting down overnight for daily overnight cleaning. Also, for the first time, Joe Biden will finally address these sexual allegations um, today on MSNBC. All right, that was a quick look at your headline news. For more front page news, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. Rock team, what's going down in sports? What's going on, Eva? Well, the word is that the NBA are looking to allow players to start working out at their facilities in very limited circumstances uh, starting May the 8th. Only four players being allowed inside the building at one time. The NBA is also advising uh, that no coronavirus testing for players or staff without symptoms. Now, I don't think that that's smart, if that's true, because you can have the virus living inside of you without early symptoms. So we're going to see if that's true or not. In the meantime, NASCAR will return to action May 17th. Seven events over an 11-day period. Of course, this will happen with no fans. I also heard that UFC will return May 9th. Obviously, all sporting events with no included live fans and spectators. This will all be televised only. So slowly but surely, these sporting events are starting to find ways to go ahead and start getting back to action without fans. The Little League World Series has officially been canceled due to the COVID-19. First time since 1947. This is a huge thing because the Little League World Series happens in over 84 countries around the world. So um, that's been canceled. So there it is, man. Sports report for this morning. Let's talk sports. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Rock T. Holla. Let's go, Gary. What you got there, Pimpin? All right, y'all. Everybody's talking about <laughs> Hollywood's most revered couple, honey, Will and Jada Pinkett Smith. Honey, Jada is speaking out, and people are like, girl, for real? Now, Jada Pinkett Smith, y'all, now she said she's been married to Will Smith, y'all, for 23 glorious years. But after being quarantined with him, she said she realized she don't even know him at all. She said, baby, yes, she talked, honey, on her show the other day. She spoke with um, Pastor John Gray, and she said, quote, I'll be honest, honey, I think one of the things that I've realized is that I don't know Will at all, honey. She said, I feel like there's a layer, honey, that you get to. Life gets busy, and you create these stories in your head, and then you hold on to these stories, and that is your idea of your partner. And she said, that's not who your partner is. She right. Telling, but I mean, but since this quarantine is going on, Rick, is this stuff that people are really discovering one another that they don't know each other? I'm like, after 23 years, you don't know this man, you had babies with him, and you still don't know yeah. who he is? I don't know about the couple thing, but uh, having an eight, uh, a 18 year old and a 22 year old in a house, uh, I've learned a lot about them, that's for sure. Really? I mean, yeah. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, it's very interesting. So I'm like, but people saying, "Girl, I think we're talking a lot these days." And she just putting it out there. I mean, Rock T, Special K, and even y'all all married. So do y'all know y'all partners after the years yeah. y'all been? I mean, I mean, my situation's I, a little different because you can con- still consider me a newlywed. Exactly. I've only been married two years, well, so we're still, you know, very much so in our honeymoon phase. But I mean, that makes sense. You think about it. People grow, and then when we are like two ships passing in the night, and everyone's busy, it's e- it's easy to not keep up with what's going on and be as current as you want to be. Well, I got 26 years in, so it's probably more on her Ooh. side than me. She probably learned more about me than I am. She oh. probably realized she don't like your ass. Okay. Well, you ain't never lied. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't disagree with that. <laughs> Love. All right. The Kahlua today, honey, is one of my favorite Kahlua's. My Kahlua today, y'all, is Honolulu. On the high end, you say Honolulu. And on the low end, you say beautiful blue. That's your Kahlua for today. Brad got your hot spot up next on the Biggest Smiley Morning Show. 